So a question I get asked quite often is, is Free Code Camp's certificates worth it? Is it worth your time? Is it worth your energy? What do you get out of it? Um, what does it do for you? And, you know, is it is it relevant to put on your resume? Is it, you know, all, all those sorts of questions. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. Because I, th I think it's important to note a few things. And you see... Uh, let me straighten this out a little bit. You'll see over my shoulder right there. I do have it up there, but uh, that wasn't always there. Uh, that was uh, that was the so that's the front end certificate, and it took me probably I would say t realistically two hundred to two hundred fifty hours um, of the of the estimated five hundred hours. Um, now was it worth it to me to getting that? Of course it was. Um, now, and uh, I'm going to talk about why and what it's done for me. And uh, also, to put in perspective, I was able to get my salary developer job before I finished that first front-end certificate. Um, and you can, too, if, if uh, you know you do everything you need to. But why was it? If I, You're like, oh, well, we're talking about was the certificate worth it? No, no, no. We're talking about was free code camp worth it? Not necessarily the certificate, but... What did Free Code Camp give me? Free Code Camp, other than gave, giving me a a free, uh, competent learning path, kind of mentored me into making a portfolio, which is the number one thing that will get you a job. As a developer just starting out, is you need to build things. You need to showcase your skills in actual projects. And so, at the end of Free Code Camp, I had twelve projects done. Um, I believe at the time I accepted my position, I had nine of them done somewhere around there but i had nine portfolio items for potential employers to look at and see hey this is all right this guy can code in jquery and and angular and and you're like oh well dylan there's no angular in free code camp what do you mean they they, they could see that you could code in angular well because i had already coded these nine projects in free code camp after looking and getting the skills and being introduced to new topics like Ajax calls and and things like that, <laughs> and now working with frameworks, after doing a little bit of research of my own and looking at jobs and seeing what's in demand in terms of front-end developers, I, I saw two things. I saw Angular and I saw React, and I started simultaneously learning both. And so what happened was, is rather than me going and developing brand new projects and starting from fresh what i wanted to showcase was my skills based off those free code camp projects so what i did and i encourage you to do something similar was i've rebuilt my projects that were in jquery in angular so i now had angular projects to showcase that skills all for free code camp now no there's no instructions on the angular js for that but all crucial and part of free code camp in my mind as it is next thing that it really gave me that I, you know to me says it was worth it was in my education section, I now have, uh, I now have on there, free code camp front end certificate. Now I didn't at the time because I hadn't completed it, but now I do, and I have a brief, you know, it front end certificate free code camp, um, you know, basically coding boot camp certificate on there. And when it comes up in conversations, that's what it gives you. It gives you something to say, hey, this guy's studying, this guy's learning. I don't really, I haven't heard of free code camp, perhaps, and then you enlighten them. Say, well. You know, I did 40 algorithms. I did 12 projects. And these are the technologies I use. It's an estimated 500 hours of coursework. And I'm continuing my education on now the back-end certificate. And these are technologies that I'm learning. It gives you those talking points. And it's about selling yourself. And you're between your portfolios and your portfolio that you're creating through Free Code Camp that you're putting on your resume in their project section or your LinkedIn on your project section. You also have something to put on your resume with this, the, um, the completed certificate as well as in the education section of your LinkedIn. These are kind of what, at the end of the day, got me my job. And for me, it was way worth it. And one of the reasons I continue to learn on Free Code Camp, not only am I picking up skills left and right, is Free Code Camp gave me a sort of mentoring rubric of how to go about learning and what to learn, right? So a lot of times the hardest part when you're getting started is, all right, I learned the basics of JavaScript, what now? I learned the basics of HTML and CSS, what now? 
how I can't learn the basics of JavaScript. How do I learn them? And so Free Code Camp took you from this sort of what was available in terms of online coding tutorials with Code Academy with basic syntax and showed us that all right, one way that you can challenge yourself to really learn these things is we're going to start introducing you to algorithms. You're going to need to know algorithms. It's a crucial part. And like, all right, now you're going to need to know projects. You got to tie it all together. And then you're going to learn a jQuery framework. And you're like, shit, I didn't know people had these. And then, uh, you know, it continues on and on and on. And Free Code Camp for me kind of mentored me in terms of getting that portfolio, getting that resume experience. And I, I have to say that it was one of the larger reasons that I feel that I've I've been very prepared as a front end developer, and I think uh, one of the reasons that going to a full stack developer now, I have a very good skill set. And to me, there's no doubt in my mind that if you stick with Free Code Camp and you do what you need to do, uh, you it will be worth it for you as well. Um, just the skills you will pick up, the portfolio you will build, and the the sort of running start that a lot of developers need before that they even consider themselves a developer right the hardest part is getting started free code camp is there to go get you from beginning to intermediate as far as i'm concerned and beginning being like the absolute syntax intermediate be being i can build stuff on my own with with you know without people uh baby stepping me along the way i got it now and i hope that you continue your free code camp is 100 percent worth for me in, uh, put in perspective, it took me about nine months, maybe maybe even longer to finish the front end certificate. Um, so it wasn't a, a short process, um, but the back end cert's going much faster. I, I plan on finishing that in three months. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys continue your education at Free Code Camp. It was definitely worth it for me. Um, from what I've seen with people who have done similar videos and talked about similarly, uh, a lot of people have found jobs before they even even finish, myself included. And after they finish, they continue on because they enjoy it. Uh, as every good developer will tell you, they enjoy this shit, right? They just don't do it for a paycheck. You'll get burnt out if you do. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I hope uh, I hope you guys stay focused. Hope you stay motivated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code and Caffeine. Link is in the description. Support me at patreon.com slash codingtutorial360. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.